For now, we make our way home. How does that sound? Mm hmm. Avante. Si parla moda. We gotta check on the cat food. The kitty needs more food, probably. No. Here, here. Home sweet home or something. Kitty, I've got a second can if you want it. Look. Hey, look. <gasps> See that? Your best friend. Do you hate animals? If you hate animals, we can't be friends. Well, there it is. Oh, our pet cat. Hey, yeah, get the sense that he likes animals too. That's good. Okay, well, uh, stay in my dirty laundry or something. Make yourself comfortable. Aww, kitty. Time for a shower. With my clothes on, as always. Okay, now we have to be really worried about the stuff here because we got a kitty! The kitty's gonna get strangled! I know it! Stop! Can we just tear this out, please? I'm so worried. So many things to worry about. I've got more cat food. In my inventory somewhere. Okay... Okay, okay. Let's put away some iconic weapons that we'll probably not use. Wait, how do I... Oh, here. How do I access my stash? The Widowmaker, I'm probably gonna retire for the time being then. It seems like I'm not really... Yeah, I'm okay with the... Just, you know... Oops, what did I just put in? Oh, the Vada We Stand I do want. Fenrir? Plan B? It's probably good enough for now. Tinkerbell? Stinger? This is all the stuff I want to keep. Iconic? Oh, uh, these are legendary, not iconic. But I'm probably not gonna wear it, so I'll just put it in here. This one I might? Don't give me this Robin Hood stuff. I'm doing a job no more. I give people what they want, and they pay me out. Maybe I even a few scores here and there, but that's good for business. I've got a slogan. How much you pay me? Phil Nacho Hernandez, fixer. Eh. Anything else iconic around here? Probably not. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Was this the gun that we got from Wilson or whatever his name was? No, that was this one, right? No. Dying Knight. Zero? Zero DPS? That must be a bug. I hope it's a bug. Okay. Good enough for now. Which one is that? So some of the guns, some of the correct weapons do get put in the slots around here. But out of all of my weapons, it seems like the... Ah, that's probably the plan B. It says dex right on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about this, but damn, I have a lot of slots. Time to do some reading. Read the news after a long, hard day. We've read Samurai Web, Night Corp, I believe, the news, WNS News, different news station. Lucia's run is dead. I feel like we've read this one. I don't know, man. Let me, let me just really quickly start from the beginning then. Let's clear out Night City Network at least, because you know, every time we go into a new neighborhood, there was like a new thing. This one I've definitely seen. I remember. End cart. Oh, this one we've seen too. This is about the transportation system. The trains? The mayor of Night City, Lucius Ryan is dead from a heart attack or something. Ah, uh, that might be a cue for me to go to Paralys too. Paralys, who's been waiting for me for a very long time patiently. Night City's system of governance is based on the authority of the mayor in cooperation with the Night City Council. 
The mayor is the city's highest governing representative. They have the power to appoint department heads and commissioners as well as remove public officers, officials, from office. With every new mayor comes an office with new faces. Yeah, they gotta install all of their own people, that's why. Early mayoral elections due to Lucius Ryan's death? Nope, no page found. Well, didn't say anything we didn't know already, pretty much. Hmm. NCPD? Who are we? In recent years, there is a lot of rumors surrounding the police. For your safety and trust, we are gonna cut through all the misinformation. Oh, we've read this one. This is about how, oh, we only protect you, but in certain areas. Not all the areas. Kang Tao AV accident? Oh no! Who did that? Oh my god, that's awful. Lucius Ryan is dead, Saburo Arasaka is dead, Asbestos, Max Tack on a roll. Actually feel like we have read some of these. I don't know man, we know about these things. Red Menace. The most explosive member of the hit band Us Cracks has found herself a new lover? A Canadian esports athlete. Oh, we've seen this lady on a lot of ads before. She's the singer of Pom Pom Shit, right? I think so? That crazy J-pop song. <laughs> Albanian newest performance. Oh my god, she dows herself in C-H-O-O-H-2. What's the- how do you pronounce that again? And set herself a light in the center of the capital. Oh no. Portland's newest artist or vandal. They are projecting hollow murals onto the side of the city. Like Banksy, but in the future. Of course, every single news source here is still sponsored by some random stuff. New reflex boosters, interactive brain dances. Mm hmm. I feel like we know a lot of this already just by being in the world. Kang Tao's newest rifles. Oh my god. Sponsored by a Biotechnica and Arasaka. That's surprising because they talk about Kang Tao here being popular. Hmm. Oh my god, I am a heavy smoker. Shiz. Oh. Hello there. How are you feeling today? How is your travel to work? Does the heavy traffic make you angry? Did you eat your breakfast? Let's start the day right. Even sometimes it doesn't go the way we expected. Let's try to do something we've never done before. Sounds right. Sounds fun, right? Or we can go somewhere nice and quiet. Not a cemetery, haha. <laughs> Yes, it's not what you think it is. Where there's no Wi-Fi to access social media, away from stress and heavy traffic in the city. Somewhere like a paradise where you can just sit under the trees, hearing the chirping of the birds, the relaxing sound of the ocean, that keeping you calm. Watching the sky to see the sunset, gazing at night looking for the stars in the sky. Would you come with me? Together, let's enjoy nature, appreciate the things that cannot be bought and cannot be owned. They probably got some random paragraph somewhere. They didn't think I was gonna zoom in? Well, I did. I did. Family is one of the greatest gifts from above. Don't take them for granted. They're the people who will never leave you. <laughs> it kind of reads like, um... Japanese stationery. You know, like Japanese pens and erasers and stuff. They always have like a line of random English on it. <laughs> That's what it kind of reads like. We got any news? I'd be interested in the news. Like, actually news, not just ads. Oh, that's news. Or an ad on a news channel. They still need to add warnings after smoking and gambling ads, I guess. Oh god, I think if we want to find news, we gotta go to the elevator or something. Hmm. Do a little bit of reading. Little bit. Take- oh, Dino Dinovic. 
Everyone who's anyone knows him, whether it's Dino the Fixer in downtown and Corpo Plaza or Dino the Rocker Boy basses in the notorious band Glory Hole Bandits. Strangely, despite them playing sold out shows, nobody's heard Dino play. You holla at Dino when you need something. Pure uncut stimulants, fast loans, joy toys or your BFF's birthday party. You want to start a riot or see someone's legs broken. Dino's your man. Dino will get it done. Like every good fixer, Dino keeps mixed company. He's just at home with play hard corpos and top tier mercs, usually edge runners. Us with sketchy media vultures and homeless drifters. You can meet them all in Dino's bar. It's worth dropping in. Someone's bound to pick your brain over a drink or throw up on your shoes. You might leave with a black eye or an STI, but that's how the city rolls? <laughs> oh, no thank you. Have we met Reyes yet? I don't quite remember. Mikhail Akulov. Oh, we never got a good look at him because we just went in and stole all his stuff. Officially, the Soviet fixer is a diplomatic business trip in Nighttown. It's on a business trip, but most take that explanation with a heap of salt. Unofficially, one rumor has it that Akulov has been seduced by Night City's capitalist, Libertine Charms. Still, the million euro dollar question remains, what is he really doing here? Many would pay handsomely for the answer. After all, this is a man who represents the interests of the entire USSR. Oh wow, they're both here. Gottfried Persson. Gottfried's work is the stuff of another person's nightmares. Nightmares often come true in Night City, and when they do, he takes them or buys them and edits them to turn a profit. As a matter of fact, he's fairly well respected in the obscure circle of illegal brain dance editors. He's a craftsman without a conscience, an advantage in his line of work. If the material is good, Godfrey will take a raw BD from anyone and fine tune the emotions, no questions asked. The closest person to him is his son, Frederick, whom he taught and trained in his craft. When they're not editing together, they manage a deep net site. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Throughout their lives, many a man has struggled to break free from their father's shadow, but not Frederick. The shadows suit him just fine. He has everything he needs, money and emotional fulfillment. Gottfried is professional and knowledgeable, while Frederick is passionate and uncompromising. Together, they form a duo that Night City happens to need. After all, someone has to edit all these illegal brain dances. I wonder if he would be into it if his dad wasn't. Because uh, the one document we found on the guy, this guy, did seem to say that, you know, he's the one dragging his son into this and making him call him Papa, even though he's like a grown man. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that Papa seems to be more of a term used by younger, like a younger son. There's a lot. Where is Takemura? Oda? Ooh, whoa, his eye. Hey, I think we have the same eyes, the same soulless eyes. Oda, Hanako Arasaka's bodyguard who also happens to be a cyber ninja. <laughs> Trained by Takemura. He was supposed to be the key to solving V and Takemura's problems, but only ended up as one more threat among the many. During their secret meeting at the docks, he declined their plea for help and gave them one last chance to leave the city. He's never further than a step away from Hanako, so it'll be difficult to reach her. Hmm, I wonder if we have to like defeat him before we can see her. Where is Takemura? Is he not here, really? Or did I- am I missing him somewhere? Oh, here. Goro Takemura, the only bodyguard of Saburo Arasaka who truly done fucked up. While obeying orders, he was unable to prevent the death of his master at the hands of Saburo's son, Yorinobu. After the relic was stolen, Takemura went after the thieves, eventually leading him to a landfill, where he zeroed Dexter the Shan and saved Fi as the sole living witness to Yorinobu's crime. In his mission to find the truth, Takemura became Arasaka's most wanted fugitive, pursued by every agent in the Night City. The ex-bodyguard is driven by a desire for vengeance and won't rest until he brings Saburo's murderer to justice, even if it means working with a petty thief like V. Well, Saburo's very lucky to have a guy like you. He is. <sighs> but what are you gonna do after that's over? Go live a free life, man. We can do a lot of things here. What should we do? I suddenly remembered... Yo, you're arresting him? Oh, there's a tiger claw. Okay. Can I put down more cat food for another cat? I have more cat food. 
they didn't even eat it. <laughs> it looks like a patty, a burger patty. Okay. I'm thinking I suddenly remembered that one quest about finding the old technology from the landfill, the one that we found near Dex. What about that one? Oh, River! <laughs> River! Your dinner. I'll be there ASAP, okay? Just give me a sec here. Going to the afterlife. Oh, it's been forever since we've been back here. We can visit Rogue too, just to chill out and have a chat. Thanks, man. Get you anything? Hey, Claire! Looking for a career change? Join Netwatch. Tracking down Netrunner renegades, combating demons, rebuilding the American Net. These are just some of the few daily tasks entrusted to the special agents at Netwatch. If you'd rather lose your eyes in your deck, if an encounter with Mephistopheles is just another walk in the park for you, then maybe it's time you joined our team. Here's what you can expect to contribute as a Netwatch agent. Patrolling all public access levels of the net, tracking and eradicating illegal Netrunner activity, hunting down dangerous rogue AI, exploring and neutralizing threats in the oldest parts of the deep net, prohibiting the movement of people and AI across the black wall, assisting in the expansion of secure net space for public use. Thanks to Netwatch, thousands of people can freely use approved search engines <sighs> and other net services without fear of falling victim to nefarious demon threats 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We serve tirelessly to eliminate corrupted data forts, safeguard our information, and arrest dangerous cyber criminals. Do you have what it takes? Apply today. Send me a salary range. That's the most important part. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Ready for the next one? Oh, she's running like a dream. Full tank, tuned up, body polished to a sheen. Never been more ready. I was asking about you, Claire. Not your beast. Yeah, and that day. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Maybe right after this. <laughs> I saw that rogue. Hey, lady, how you doing? Up with Hellman. We're out in the end. I know. Cutting half of Night City's power to down an AV. That's how shit around here used to get done. I see you approve. How are things done now? Conservatively. Everything's cold, calculated, less improvisation. That sounds like you missed the good old days. Huh. If you went back in time and told me I'd be a fixer, I'd have laughed in your face. Back when you were younger, when you were still in Samurai, you were probably more of the, the doing person than the telling the person to do stuff person. Yeah? Pan Am deserves most of the credit. Wouldn't happen without her. I know. That's why I recommended her to you. Is that all? You knew. She trusted her. Yeah, I think she likes Pan Am, but you know, she didn't want to like... She wanted to knock her down a peg or something. I was wondering... Wouldn't happen to have any gigs for me. Nope. Nothing. Really? Not for you. Ouch. Rogue, are we cool? Cause there are other fixers I can call. Be my guest. If all you want are small time smash and grabs. See the regulars? They've got dozens of jobs behind them. They trust each other. Now put yourself in my shoes. How do you think it'll look when they find out I'm putting a crew together with you in it? You had one job with Dex and fucked it up spectacularly. You know that's not true. Who cares? This isn't about skill, V. Only thing that matters is reputation. Why do you think you work alone? Look, V, just do what you do best, alright? Uh, I feel a little bit hurt, but I understand. I understand. It is about who you know, not what you know. Ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. Used to know Johnny Silverhand. What was he like? Uh, Johnny? 
Where did that come from? Seemed to be as many rumors about him as there were 50 years ago. And not all of them gel together. No, you two were close. I asked. Huh. What was Johnny like? Strong, <laughs> arrogant, uncompromising. He'd burn down half the city just to prove he was right. And burn the other half just for fun. He was like a kid with a box of matches and a can of chew too. Chew too. Tough luck. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, doesn't matter. I won't speak ill of the dead. Can I ask you the other personal questions? Ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. How is it? Being the boss of the afterlife? What is this? Am I on News 54 Entertainment? <laughs> anyway, I don't like that label, boss. Makes it sound like I've got an army of greasy henchmen. What would you rather go by? Hmm, good question. I'd have to think about that one. You know what? I'll add it to my list of things to do. Right at the very bottom. Damn, she's actually gonna add it to her list. Thank you. Thanks, Rogue. I'll see you later. Most people... Complete info again, the bitch. We know how they're geared out. Big fucking beans. We got no idea how many are holed up in that bunker. Will be. Sham is a lucky charm. Hey, Sham. Whoa, watch out. Might just answer you. Best focus on the gig. Now look, we send drones up first. Make sure we don't land in a pool of hot runny shit. Damn it, man, you guys. There's no privacy in the club. Maybe you should talk about it elsewhere. Oh, but everybody else is a full crew and I'm all alone. Feels lonely. Most people know about Johnny. That was your best idea for some quick scratch. Next day, I was a pariah. She cut me off completely. Nobody would take my calls. It was like I was dead. Uh oh. Good thing you only tested Regina. She's gentle. Any other fixer, you'd have had multiple fractures in both legs. Uh, remember that one time I lied to Dakota? <laughs> Whoops. As I was saying for the third time. Oh, geez, this is so morbid. Everyone knows Johnny, but not many people know him personally, so people probably talk about him like he's some sort of inanimate dead thing, which he is. But then, you know, for someone to ask, Hey, Rogue, what was Johnny like? That's probably not a question she gets often. In the shadows of mega buildings, one could say we're living in stable times. The fourth corporate war is ancient history. The unification war is over and done with, and Night City is a free city, a jewel embedded between two Californias. Living here, you might have the impression that everything is okay in the world, but look around. The world's not okay. Despite technological recession between 2020 and 2040 reducing global pollution levels, humanity is still facing monumental existential threats. Climate change has turned into climate disaster. Its effects are irreversible and dangerously unpredictable. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, floods, natural catastrophes are growing in strength and frequency across the continent, leveling entire regions. Access to clean water is becoming increasingly more scarce, as well as fertile land. Hunger and starvation still reap in a bloody human harvest in Asia and Africa, where corporations had no interest in building vertical hydroponic farms. Meanwhile, Advances in cyber modification have given rise to a new problem, cyberpsychosis. And though we've been aware of cyberpsychosis for over half a century, and know that incidents of cyberpsychosis are inextricably linked to a person's level of implantation, we still do not know why some are more prone to carrying out violent attacks than others. Let's not also forget the more serious issue of mass inequality, record high crime rates, including in places like Night City, and social unrest linked to immigration in almost every corner of the world. So I ask you again, look around. You see all these problems in Night City already. Maybe you're standing in the shadow of a mega building and you think, Night City is Night City. The rest of the world's problems don't affect me. Right? Right? Yeah, well... Uh, mm, that's probably not the case. Nix? Um... Oh, can I just not get that? Okay. Hi. 
Nix. Oh. Restricted data. Huh. Are you a fixer? No, you're a netrunner, probably. What's it like, working for Rogue? It's fine. That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Wait, he's got a police thingy on his wrist. Hmm, know you from somewhere. Sorry, you've got the wrong guy. Wait. The negotiations between Arasaka and N54, that... that cyber-psycho scandal in the Defense Department. You used to work for Arasaka. You were behind the leak, weren't you? Thought you got flatlined, and yet... here you are at the afterlife. A fellow ex-monochromer, I see. Only thing I miss is the clean air. Hmm. We're like ex-co-workers, pretty much. Listen. From one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bart Moss era. Rach Bart Moss. The Bart Moss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? No. <sighs> Who knows? Hey, v. But I was able Michael to dig up a few classic Fart Moss relics. Out front of the Mega Tower. Yeah, let me show you. Gonna be there. <laughs> there. Of course I will. See you then. Uh oh, I didn't hear what Judy said, but she said meet her somewhere, right? Oh, they gotta stop doing that, man. I'm sorry, what were you saying? You were gonna sell me some stuff? Why do they want me to buy this one? Wait, is he what's teaching? He's teaching me ping? Is that it? Okay, I don't know why he told me to buy that. That was weird. Well, you have some money though. Missing vendor name. You've got some money. Would you like my excess hacks? I've got a whole ton of them. I only need one. I only need the best one of each type, pretty much. Yeah, look at me! I'm giving you a bigger stock here. You're welcome. It's actually worth quite a bit of money, too. Memory wipe. Overheat. Ping. The ones that we're using right now aren't here, right? They better not be. <laughs> Oh, look how profitable this is. Not so bad, not so bad. Synapse burnout. This is so satisfying, I love it. Yeah, now I even made your, your stock bigger. Ain't that great? You can have my junk too if you want. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you were gonna show me Bart Moss's relics to teach me new stuff, yeah? Okay, so you were gonna show me your stock. That's all you did. But speaking of Bart Moss... Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Hey, I really did. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? <laughs> Why not? Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Tech's coming apart. 
Humanity damaged. Encryption on a mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Mm. Think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A, a data crash-like thing, or rabbits? Because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? Yeah, otherwise we're just gonna have it sit here and do nothing, right? No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Can I see you do it? Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bogma should have done that. Okay, what do we got here? Ah! Oh! Oh! Got a brain broiler. You absolutely oh, sure catch you it, want to jack in? Ideas, V, fast and stat. A couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. What? It wasn't me, right? I was just looking at the documents on the side, and then there is a virus in there. Is hacking the computer the right move? I don't know. Holy... This is just getting money from it, though. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. Oh, okay. Are you breathing? Apparently. Oh, it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... what the hell happened? You started convulsing, lights went out, outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Lowly me. Guess I got a little lucky. Had luck coming out your ears, kid. Alright. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Ah, uh, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man. I'm glad to hear. That whole thing happened so fast, I had no idea what even was. Oh! Oh, you scared me. If he died, I guess we'd never- Really? Is there really nothing on the- On the deck? That seems a little bit suspicious to me too, but okay, if you say so. We got a bunch of quick hacks, but it's a bunch that we have already, I'm pretty sure. Most of them we had. I'll take that. Well? Wanted for a confidential. He's uh, probably one of the best net runners around here, I guess. In Rogue's crew and all that. Okay, cool. Spellbound. Hey, got a job for you. Swing by when you have a sec. 
I do have a sec. Hey, man! <laughs> v, baby, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? Don't call me baby. All right, lay it on me. Was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classified. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? He used Mr. Stud cheap. Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you and earn you. You want me to clup it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Yeah, why can't you buy it? Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. And you don't? Okay. Okay, will do. That's my girl. Zipping you the deets on the seller. And luck be with you all the way. Reno. Okay. Huh. Nix has shared a contact with you, Reno. Got it, thanks. Let's maybe get outside the club first. It's pretty noisy in here. Get you anything? Claire, I'll be with you in a sec later, alright? Uh, this is the first time where we called Panam too. The same spot. Reno. Are we calling or are we texting? Oh. Hey, you looking for the book? Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prime. I flicked you the address. Come by your lonesome. Okay, well, I don't see why we shouldn't do this right now. Come alone, I have eyes everywhere. No problem. Alright. 